Hi friends, we are continuing with Chicken Journey. I'm sorry I've been missing for two weeks. I just had a lot going on and unfortunately couldn't film anything until today. So here we are. We are at the point where we found all three scrolls and we just have to find some winter clothing. I learned we can fly, which is awesome. And yeah, so we just have to continue solving these puzzles to kind of untangle all of this. Wait, this one's fine here. This one, oops, there we go. Oh no, cool. And then last but not least would be this one. Oh no, there we go. Into here, excellent. And then we should be able to lift up the platform here. Oh, can move it up. All right, so we can do the same thing on this one then. And how do we get this guy to move where? Oh, okay, that answered that question. <laughs> All right, and we have this puzzle. Let's move this up here. This one looks like it can go down there for now. Cool, and then last one. All right, I made a pentagon. Raise up this little bar again, and let's get our ball of yarn going this way. And last puzzle. Cool. And then last thing to do would be to move this one, if I can grab a hold of it. Oh no, don't be stuck. Cool, lift this one up, and I just have to make sure that I send this yarn to where it's supposed to go. Does it just go in here? Oh, maybe it does to press the scissors. Ooh. Oh, how cool. All right, well, let's save. Avoid all of these Oh no, <laughs> I keep flying right towards everything. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, there we go. Avoid that, oh, I'll get it one of these times. This is the world's most dangerous closet I have ever seen. I'm risking my poor hen's life just to get some warm clothes. No, please don't die. Get in there, Whew. did that. Now let's get up here, slowly, oh gosh, or quickly get down. <laughs> Looks like that one goes somewhere here. This one on the bottom left, nope, up here, there we go. Okay, you're gonna have to wait up here. You, coming with me right here. All right, then you two probably just need to be swapped. So let's leave you here. Fly over here, grab this one, no, grab the button. There, no, let's grab a hold of you, and boom. Not quite sure, oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what we're moving. Do we need this little yarn ball? Oh, okay. And then we just return. Oh, and it follows me. Okay, we're collecting the yarn. Got it. Oh, I have to actually unravel it. Oh, that's cute. I thought I'd just fly through the level. All right, they're really testing my flying abilities here. We're almost out of this crazy closet. Yay. Oh no, never mind. I have to go up. I'm surprised none of these other big yarn balls satisfied the requirements for making warm clothes for me. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh, there are so many parts to this. My goodness. Okay, so no, fly up. No, up, my friend. Oh no, 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 no. Please do not give yourself more problems, my friend. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. And then we come all the way down here and move leftward. I don't know what Taylor, the Taylor, did to tangle this, but I never want to do this again. And I'm sad that she couldn't just use this huge ball of yellow yarn down here for whatever she was doing. She just needed this one that was tangled all over her little closet. The funniest thing is, is that wardrobe does not look like it would fit all of this in it. We'll see it in a second, once we probably get this done. Let me save real quick, and then let's go up here. Oh, I can move it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I was, like, thinking of how I'm just gonna be stuck here forever. Okay. And then probably move this one as well. That is not going to work. The problem with moving it this way is that it doesn't really help. Okay, if we move this one first, is there a way that I can leave the ball of yarn somewhere okay let me try one more thing let's push you this way can i temporarily wrap it around here and then move this back oh, okay that's gonna work i didn't think of this earlier because i wouldn't think you would go back to the previous room to do this but maybe this will work oh awesome okay so that answers the question of this one Let's shove you all the way to the corner and let's get this other little needle basket and push you. You can do the same thing. 
or no, I don't have to do the same thing. I think I can just push you all the way to the right. Oh, cool. Figured it out. Nice. Okay. We go up here and we do something similar here, I guess. Um, okay, so we kind of need this string not attached there. Free up this box. Not this box, let's free up this area for us. And let's go ahead and wrap ourselves here. We're gonna have to take care of that middle first. Oh no, wait, hold, no. Let's move you back. Let's grab you and push you towards the wall. And then we can move you. Okay, let's not trap ourselves. Let me temporarily have the string held there. And I think this one will be fun being here as long as I don't trap myself. I know I'm doing more tangling than untangling, if anything. Um, but let's go ahead and free this corner now. Let's go get our string back. I thought this would be a little bit more simple, you know, get there, solve a few puzzles, grab the yarn, and then return, but it's a whole thing. And then we're gonna push it from this side. I think I broke it. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. I'll be back. All right, we are back. Thankfully, we don't have to redo all of that, so that's great. Let's go ahead and return to Taylor, and let's see what we do next. What's that? Excuse me, I have what inside my wardrobe? Oh my. So that's what happens when you don't tidy up every once in a while. How long has she not been tidying up for? Anyway, please choose what pattern I should make for you. Ooh, I love green and yellow, so let's do that one. Good choice, just wait a sec. And done. Yay, can we put it on? Let's see. Oh, it's so cute, it's a little winter hat and a little scarf. We are so cute. All right, thank you, Taylor. Oh. Here's our little winter scene. All right, let's see what craziness awaits us here. Oh, there's a little igloo. I can't go into it. Oh, his name is Snowflake. You, uh, this is awkward. Could you hand me that carrot over there, please? Thanks a bunch. It feels weird missing a nose. Nice winter outfit, by the way. Oh, they're so kind here. Fun fact number 22. Snowflakes contain tiny air pockets, which is why they make noise when they land on water. However, because the sound's frequency is between 50 to 200 kilohertz, it is inaudible to the human ear. Well, isn't that crazy? Oh, we made it to the top. Nice. All right, who do we have here? Oh, it's our friend. Johnny. Oh, hey, I see you also visited Taylor. Looking good. So, you'll finally get the answer you were looking for all along. Excited? Have a good one. I'll sit here for a while and admire the awesome Aurora. I have a feeling I'm not going to be happy with the answer, but, you know, it is what it is. Seek the answer. All right, let's talk to... Who is that? Augustine. Oh, he's wearing, like, a little robe. Good evening to you, traveler. You have the three ancient scrolls with you? Praise be! Sacred knowledge awaits you, if you are ready to receive it. You need to speak to the eldest one. You can find him in the observatory. Just go to the elevator on the first floor. Got it. Um. Oh, I can do that. Okay. I'm not quite sure where to go first, so let's go in here. The three scrolls in the hands of someone this young? Astonishing. I know. It's crazy. Um. I'm just seeing if there's anything else we can do. No, it just looks like a really big library with a bunch of people learning. Okay. Um, that's the door we came in through. Is that a tomato? Oh, someone's eating. It's the dining hall. <laughs> What's in here? Ooh, the kitchen. Ooh, there is a scroll, you guys. That's awesome. Let's take it. What does it say? Handmade paper has been around for a long time and is very eco-friendly. It can be made out of pieces of old newspapers. The phloem of some trees and shrubs like the mulberry, hemp, refuse, rice straw, and even out of crumpled rags. Cool, the more you know. We are missing a bunch of scrolls, but I didn't see them. So if I find them, that's great. Those are worms, that is gross. <laughs> If we find them, good. If not, well, we tried. Okay, let's go through here, see who we have. Oh, it's a little turkey. 
To speak to the eldest one, you need to have the scrolls, blah, blah, blah. Use the elevator. All right, they are busy studying. I need to be busy finding the elevator. That's the elevator. Okay, before I do that, I want to go into this room to see what it is. Oh, there's another room up here. Oh, the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I thought the hens just take dust baths. I guess not. All right, well, let's go ahead and take the elevator. Doesn't look like there's much to do in the other places. It doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> so much for using the elevator. Let's see. Where is our friend who can help us? Okay. Who do I ask about the elevator? Eugene should know what to do if the elevator isn't working. Is Eugene the person? The person. <laughs> the little hen I spoke to at the bottom here? Oh no, you're Augustine. Who is Eugene? No, you're Henrik. Aureli. Okay, our, uh, our um, choices are looking a little bit limited. Can I just fly up there? I have wings. Okay. There's no one here. Hurry, right, figure that out. <laughs> I found Eugene. He's a little turkey. Oh, right. You can't use the elevator without an access card. Silly me. It might seem strange that we have such advanced technology here, I know. But when you're the safekeepers of all knowledge, security is very important. Those three scrolls you have prove that you can be trusted, so here you go. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. This is more less of a puzzle and more of a... Do you remember where everyone is? And my answer to that is no, I do not. Pretty sure, though, they were downstairs. The access card? No, I don't have it. I asked Henrik to pass it to Eugene. Maybe Henrik still has it. He's on the other side of the room. Shouting is considered rude here. Oh my goodness, you guys. What's that? The elevator access card? I could swear I gave it back. No, wait, maybe not. Actually, I left it in the bathroom. Oh my, oh my. For a... Uh, birds that are so intelligent they really should know where they keep their stuff all right it's through the bedroom up here okay that took care of that and we can take the elevator she looks so happy when she's using her leap <laughs> take me up all right oh apparently earth is egg-shaped that's that's cool <laughs> oh no more climbing Okay, oh, this looks like an observatory for sure. Oh, wow. Welcome, Seeker. Thank you. The three ancient scrolls you carry with you prove your dedication to knowledge. Take them. The first scroll was a diamond in the rough that you saved from obscurity. With this initial step of your journey, you have shown the virtue of curiosity. Recovering the second scroll required patience, as all dealings with frogs do. There, among the carefree, you have instead chosen perseverance. <laughs> and for the third, you restored balance to two troubled tribes, no small feat. Thus you have exemplified the value of synthesis, the bedrock of truth. I deem you ready to receive the ultimate answer. Come. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> there are many theories to answer the ultimate question. Scientists would tell you that the egg was first, but that's just part of the truth. Those who say it was the chicken are also only partially correct. You will now witness ancient and powerful beings. Their words will bring you the enlightenment you seek these aliens, <laughs> alien chickens and roosters. Here are words seeker of knowledge. You have come far and done many good deeds on your way here. Bringing positive change was truly reason enough for your journey. But you deserve the answer you came here to learn. Listen, neither the chicken nor the egg were first. <laughs> Poor hen of mine. The very concept of primacy is false. Instead, there is only eternity. No beginning, no end, endless, going round and round, a shape not unlike an egg. 
we have spoken. All right, well, that's the, the answer. What came first, the chicken and the egg? Neither, guys, neither. And yeah, that is the end of Chicken Journey. I know we were missing a few scrolls and that last optional mission, I just, I'm not sure where to look <laughs> for it. But yeah, this was very cute. Lots of little birds and squirrels that we became friends with and frogs. <laughs> each dealing with their own unique problems but yeah this is a very cute game as well put together some of the puzzles were a little bit more tricky or time consuming than others but they were enjoyable once I figured out what to do for them and yeah and yeah friends that was chicken journey thank you guys so much for going on this adventure with me and our little hen i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye